Hi, my name is Tamim Bulawa. I am the head of Alternative Investment Services at Riscura and the training officer for our CA training program. And I'd like to chat about uh, what made you guys join uh, the CA uh, training program at Riscura. Uh, what made me apply was the promise of exposure to the private equity space, um, which I think is a growing and rewarding uh, space in the country. And being in the program gives you a head start to compare to my peers. I started an audit. I realized that um, a job is not just about a nine to five. So if you can marry it with passion and purpose, then that would actually be really great because it's going to be the rest of your life. And I looked at what Riscura had to offer. They're in the financial services space and it was very attractive to me. And I think one of the outstanding selling points is the flexible working hours. I mean, you know, you get to learn the, the skill of value, valuing unlisted um, assets, uh, which is which is a truly unique uh, skill set that can differentiate you from from your peers. When you joined the Rescue CA program, <coughs> what were you most looking forward to learning? Working with um, a young team is one thing that I looked forward to the most. I realized this during the interview um, phase that the team is quite young, and that was um, exciting for me. I think the Riscura CA program really embodies, you know, the values of Riscura, which is innovation and care. You know, Kami always encourages us to pursue other things outside of just the working hours as well. Some people are pursuing, you know, CFA. We have people that are interested in fintech uh, avenues and they go to fintech, you know, conferences as well. So it's not just only about the work we do here at Riscura, but really also just caring about your life outside of Riscura and the typical work that we do. What are the lessons learned? Um, how do you think um, this will benefit you in your future careers? So one thing that I'll be taking with me um, post articles is the importance of building relationships, great relationships. I'm one of those people who would like to just listen to music and not talk to anyone. But Riskira, being here at Riskira and working with this team um, has taught me the importance of building relationships, which is very important in the private equity space. And hopefully you're also creating long-term value with each other. The one thing, a favorite thing, I did audit articles. Um, I wish I had my own program like this. <laughs> um, but the relationships I built there, they still last to this day. We try to see each other once a quarter. I think another thing that's of paramount importance for me personally is looking at the alum that have come from that particular company and seeing which positions do they hold in the industry. You now, outside of just the Riscura CA program, I think if you just look at Riscura as a whole, as a company, a lot of the individuals that come to Riscura go on to do great and wonderful things in the industry and some even starting their own businesses. So just the skill set, the mindset that you forge here at Riscura is, is you know, immense. Let's chat about career highlights. Um. My highlight actually increased my net worth, you know. <laughs> so, so I entered a competition. It was a valuations competition, a stock tech analyst um, competition. And I came as runner up. And that for me was like, okay, great. Like it gave me that comfort to say, you know what, actually the work we do here is really up to industry standard. It's not just yes. um, for play or all of those things. And when I looked at all the other entrants that made it to top 10, people are like 13 years of experience, 15 years of experience, and there you are with your three years of experience, but was able to get the runner up and money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did some work which I had to defend, and uh, I think I met up with this executive, you know, quite, quite like you know, uh, ruthless in his in, in his dealings. You know, he came through, he threw a few punches, uh, but man, all the punches he threw it did not land. <laughs> <laughs> because listen, the, I, I had done the work, I had the work ethic, I had the hard work. So when he came, he came to someone who did the work, who knew what he was doing. And then at the end, he was like, yeah, so I see you do good work, good work. <laughs> so nice. I think. I th One of my highlights was attending the Safka conference. So I got to see behind the scenes of the valuations that we actually do, because we got to see from how they choose their portfolio companies, how they do the due diligence, and also get to see the different career paths in private equity. So it's not just limited to like everyday work that we do. We get to see like other influential people in the industry as well. 
three words to describe uh, your, your time so far. If I had to describe Rescue in three words, I'd say creating long-term value, not only with our clients, but also just the relationships that we have with our colleagues. Um, I think that's a very special part of it. My three words describing my experience at Rescura would be exciting, exposure and growth. I'd say that my three words are engaging, challenging and growth. And why engaging particularly is because the work forces you to fully engage with it, fully engage with all the factors that actually drive value and you needing to know everything that's going on around you in the world. Kami, as the training officer of the Rescura CA program, what would you say someone should consider uh, if they want to apply to this prestigious, might I add, uh, program? From my perspective, we see quite a lot of people. Uh, we might interview 50 and only hire two. But uh, the most thing that it's, 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 we want to see, you know, do you have the technical base, first of all, so decent marks, but um, not like all A's, but, you know, hold the decent base. And um, then we take you through four items in our interviews. Do you understand the market, the macroeconomic environment? What bit of business acumen? You know, we ask you to pick a company, talk us through its risk as opportunities. Then we talk through valuation methods and some accounting adjustments um, that impact valuation. So that's why um, the training program made sense for us because we, we do consider ourselves the training academy. Uh, for private equity in general in South Africa. So the CA training program was a natural home for it. What would you say to someone uh, considering, like you were saying, Shuna, you're a bit shy to put in your application. What, what would you say to that same person? Uh, what I would say to that person is that uh, to not doubt themselves, uh, just take that step because uh, I also doubted myself before that, but then just putting in my application because this program uh, welcomes all trainees uh, from different diverse backgrounds so putting in your application yeah, you would be considered you're, yeah just raising that hand but also like encourage people to shoot their shots because i was also thinking because i stopped everyone on Inst i mean on linkedin <laughs> and so they had like audit experience somewhere and i was straight from varsity so i thought no maybe they want people who did audit first <laughs> but yeah here i am so just take a chance Prepare, 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 uh, but this is a place to be, I mean, if you really want to be in finance yes. and if, if you're passionate about finance and about learning, this is a place to be. Great. On my interview day, um, when I was about to leave, I was having issues with, um, with the transport. The head of the AIS division stood there with me, made, made sure that I get um, transport to the airport. So that for me, it's that unity, the care that is given onto the team, that for me was my highlight over the past three years. The Rescue training program puts you above the rest in terms of being an analyst in financial services and gives you a, a head start amongst your peers. It is, you know, very, very challenging, but you know, it's a, the stretches that is a good stretch. It, it, it helps you in good stead when you join the industry. Given that a lot of um, our alumni are at the investment banks, infrastructure fund, so you end up really in where you want to be. And lastly, I, I would say, you know, we know how to have fun, even online. I, I remember we used to try have spirit in a Zoom meeting and we try our best. So it was really lovely when we started interacting in person again. Earlier this year, we, we partnered with Capital Works to offer two trainees an opportunity to rotate to the private equity firm and spend six months there. And how would you summarize your experience at Capital Works for these past six months? Um, if I was to just put it down into three words, um, the past six months have involved a lot of learning, a lot of growth, and it has been a worthwhile experience. What's the most exciting part being part of the Capital Works team? Someone who enjoys numbers a lot, for me it was the deal um, involvement. So we were part of um, a deal that Capital Works was working on. Um, so they came to us and then they told us this is actually a potential buy that we want to do. I was responsible for the quantitative side of things. Nondumiso was is, um, responsible for the qualitative side. That mm -hmm. was like really the highlight. So uh, Nondumiso, your experience at Capital Works, would you, would you say that the time at your scooter prepared you for that time? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, we are 
the independent evaluators so when you get on the other side you get to do more than just evaluation because the investment space is actually very broad there's a lot that goes into um, how companies actually reach decisions on where to put in capital and where to actually generate returns for investors so being in a place like Riscura, doing valuations understanding value drivers and what actually grows businesses um, prepared me very well for that opportunity.